You gotta learn from your losses, just the victory, baby. I've done it all and seen it all, it's just the victory, baby. You gotta see the silver lining, it's a victory, baby. If it been a I know, I know. Uh, if you want greatness, it takes time. I know I'm anxious, just pay me no mind. What's good, team? It's your boy Cal back with another one. I'm on my regular grind as usual. If you just tuning in to the channel, my name is Calvin McGee. I'm a local Detroiter slash investor slash Mr. Land Bank. Nickname was given to me because I bought so many properties from the Detroit Land Bank Authority. And you know, so we, I'm at 13 properties purchased. Will I buy any more? I don't know. But a total of 14 properties purchased so far. Uh, the 14th property is actually my dream home that I'm working on, still working on now, right? And um, so I wanted to just shout out to everybody that's been grinding, doing what you do. Um, I have some praise reports. I have a few subscribers. Uh, one in particular uh, just sent me a message on Facebook that uh, <clears throat> she purchased her property around the same time I purchased my apartment building and she didn't have a water line. The Detroit uh, Detroit Water and Sewage Department told her she's responsible, that she had to uh, pay to get it fixed. She reached out to me. I was like, absolutely not. If, you, if it wasn't disclosed to you, you're not responsible. Just like everybody else that purchased their property uh, before the Detroit Land Bank put the disclosure on there. The reason they put that disclosure on there is to protect the, protect them and to make people aware that they do not have knowledge of the condition of the water line, right? So by them putting the disclosure on there, that uh, notifies you basically making it, um, uh, making you responsible because you already knew beforehand versus on there how it used to be before um that was august uh let's see here um because they did this last year so i think it was like august 2021 um dang is it 2023 oh my I, I forgot my dates do not judge me that's how bad it is because this is 20 i want to ask hey siri what year is it hey siri let's see what she say it's Wednesday, July 27th, 2022. Okay, yeah, we. I don't know why I'm thinking we're in 2023, right? Uh, yeah, so last year, um, 2021, around August, like July, August, the land bank changed their website um, to reflect, hey, uh, changed the, you know, the description on the, um, on the homes. So that way, um, you know that they won't be liable because the last thing they want to do is get sued right so um now uh for the people that you know got that disclosure you, you know you you're have to you have to take care of that expense but if you purchased your property before that before they made that this uh that change the water company got paid for that because it's not your fault that they lost the records because that's what it is like on my block, they lost the records. Yeah, yep, yeah, somebody dropped the ball. I don't know who dropped the ball. I ain't gonna blame the whole water department. It might've been one person, one or two people that's supposed to be keeping up with it or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And you know, whatever happened, I don't know, right? But my, my subscriber, she was able to, uh, she sent me the email saying like, hey, her, her uh, reconnect uh, was approved. So that's about eight to ten thousand dollars. She doesn't have to pay. Now they are doing this. They are requiring you to get a licensed plumber to uh, send a camera through your uh, your sewer line. So that's the little catch, right? So now it's like, okay, if you got a broken sewer line or whatever, you need to get that first before we reconnect your service, right? So it's always got to be a catch which I, I feel like that shouldn't have nothing to do with anything, right? Like fix the water line, we worry about the sewer line later. But they would like they want you to get a licensed plumber to um, submit um, uh, a video of the condition of the sewer line. It can't be any cracks or whatever and stuff like that. Um, but at the same time, like, if you don't have running water, how can you 
really, you know, snake out your line like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's because when you use a snake, they you, they run water through it. So it's like, you know, it's kind of. I think it's kind of messed up that they they're that they're asking you to do that. I feel like the water line needs to get repaired. So repair the water line. We worry about the sewer line later, right? But no worry, guys. I got you covered. My cousin is a licensed plumber. So guys that uh, sign up for my consultation, uh, link will be in the description. You guys can reach out uh, to my cousin if that if that's what you need. You know, as far as needing his service. Um, but yeah, so uh, what else, man? And then also, man, my birthday coming up this week, man. Hey, so you guys want to send your boy a gift because I've been helping you out. I, I'm accepting gifts. So I will have my cash up in there and I appreciate whatever gifts y'all want to give me. You hear me? All day. I love it. Love it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'll be turning ooh, 33. Ooh. I'm getting old. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Yep. So, um, also, um, what else? What else we got going on? Man, I think that's it, man. I just wanted to just chop it up with you guys. Oh, big thing. The um, So, I got a letter in the mail at the apartment building. And the water company partner up with the, it's something called America. I forgot what it is, but the, you got to tune in to the next video about this. So you can get a warranty on your water line and sewer line. So I signed up for it already because it was like basically you can either get a warranty on your, your service water line or your sewer line. You can do it separate. So I paid for both of them, which came out to $8 a month or you can pay for the whole year, right? So... Um, but my understanding is from what I read is if your water line is normal wear and tear, they will cover it. Right. So, but when I called, I couldn't get anybody on the phone cause it was too late. Right. So I'm going to talk about that in my next video about, um, warranties on your sewer line and your main water line. So this will be for people that purchase a land bank property and, in some shape, form, or fashion, you gotta probably get your backyard dug up. This warranty is supposed to warranty that. So, but it only says wear and wear and tear. So, not if you didn't messed it up trying to fix it, and then you're trying to call them in, right? But I have some questions, you know, about this as well. Because what if my property, uh, some, you know, when I bought it, somebody broke into it and uh, stole the, you know broke up the floor somewhat to get the um you know get the old metal pipe out so i don't know so but i gotta get i gotta get that information for you guys because i you know i would like to know but i did sign up for it so it took uh it charged my account a dollar and then initially then it charged my account uh the eight dollars whatever but i gotta check to make sure they gave my dollar back because you know what i'm saying they ain't slick because it's supposed to be eight dollars right and it charged my account a dollar so I want my dollar back. I ain't playing. You know what I'm saying? You, you ain't about to just get $9 out of me. And, 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 you know what I'm saying? And you ain't even ask me about it. You know what I'm saying? So like, but yeah. So that's it. Uh, that's all I wanted to chop it up with you guys about. Um, so stay positive. Um, if you need um, to set up a consultation with me, let me know. Um, and we go from there. All right? And uh, you guys have a blessed day.